Karen Horn here, Public Policy Director for the Vermont League of Cities and Towns. This was a busy week in the State House, and a number of issues surrounding local governments were raised. Seven of eight mayors met in the Cedar Creek Room for a press conference on Tuesday. They called for legislation that would revamp the tax increment financing program to make it a better working economic development tool for local governments. They also called for support for local law enforcement through prohibiting felons from owning firearms or possessing firearms, making that a, against the law under Vermont law, for giving law enforcement access to the prescription drug database, for providing more state oversight of uh, people awaiting trial and offenders who are in the community thus enabling local police forces to do more community policing. The Secretary of Transportation, Brian Searles, addressed the House and Senate Transportation Committees. He gave a, re a report on the revenues in the Transportation Fund, a $240 million gap between revenues and funding needs in the, each of the next five years. Steve Jeffrey also testified in support of enhancing revenues to the Transportation Fund. The House Transportation Committee heard from the VTRANS staff about the accelerated bridge construction program. There are approximately 50% of the bridges that are in the pipeline for town projects will be using the accelerated bridge construction program the main attribute of that being that you can close down roads and get construction done a lot less expensively and faster if you don't have to provide temporary bridges and detours. S14 is in the Senate Economic Development, Housing and General Affairs Committee. That's a bill that would provide that if, that would mandate that if there is a bargaining unit in your town, and you're not a member of that bargaining unit, uh, you would have to pay an agency fee that could be up to the amount of regular union fees that are paid by union members. The League of Cities and Towns opposed that bill in the committee this week. And in the House Fish, Wildlife, and Water Committee, Carrie Dolan, who's the Ecosystem Restoration Director at the Department of Environmental Conservation, gave a report on Act 38, which encompasses water remediation, stormwater management, and how to pay for, again, what is a huge ticket item, 150 some million dollars per year to, uh, to fund the remediation that the department believes is necessary. We invite you to click on the link below to read the VLCT weekly legislative report which goes into these and other issues in more detail.